What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the WWE Smoking Skull Championship title replica! So here we are, and there it is. So let's just get right down to it. As usual, all these belts come in the protective slip cover right here. Big WWE scratch logo, Smoking Skull replica. Let's just flip this thing around and open it up. And yes, I know this is the most exciting part of the review, where you watch me open up the belt. The most electrifying part of any review. I know, I know. Let's get this out of here. And of course, inside is a little protective piece of foam to further protect your belt. And I do greatly appreciate it. And we'll just take off all the plastic here. The plastic wrapping. Get that out of here. Get out. Get out of my life. Get out of my life forever. And you have this little piece of plastic here protecting the uh, the top of the uh, female snaps. Just peel that off. Get that out of here. And there we have our Smoking Skull Championship. Ah, you can see me in it. <laughs> But there you go. Uh, definitely one of my favorite belts, just because I'm a big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. Always have been, always will be. I think he is the man. But, um, yeah, here's the Smoking Skull belt. Now, um, apparently the way the story goes is, after Austin was presented with the Big Eagle belt, um, at, what po at one point, um, I don't know if it was at a Raw or SmackDown, but at, at a TV taping, um, Austin had the Big Eagle belt on his shoulder, and when he kicked Vince McMahon in the stomach to set him up for a stunner, the belt jumped up and one of the little jagged parts cut his chin open. And at that point, Austin said, uh -uh, um, I, don't, I don't like this belt anymore. And uh, <laughs> he went off and had this belt made. And he did this without Vince McMahon knowing. He went off on his own and had this belt designed and made for him. And... Um, as the story goes, Vince wasn't all too happy about it. And there is a clip on YouTube. I don't know if it's correct, because, again, this happened ages ago, so I don't remember it. But um, there is a clip on YouTube that apparently is when this belt debuted on TV. And if you watch that clip, and if that clip is the correct clip, um, you notice that the announcers don't even acknowledge that he's holding a different belt in his hand. They never make, they, they never make any mention of it whatsoever they don't acknowledge its existence and of course you know as time goes this became part of storylines at one point Shane McMahon stole it at one point The Rock stole it so you know apparently Vince McMahon learned to like it and accept it but uh yeah I I love this belt I think it's really really cool so let's get in close here so you can see the details and see my face as I'm talking about the details so right there in the center you got the big skull right there very cool with the scratch logo. I think mine has some excess paint on here. Just a big blob of paint. I don't know what's up with that. But that's the... Uh. Now, of course, it's the WWE logo. Of course, at the time this debuted, it was still WWF. There are still versions of the replica with the WWF logo on there. But since this is since this is a, uh, a newer version of the belt, a newer replica of the belt, it has a WWE logo instead. So, not 100% accurate, but it's okay. You got the smoke coming out of the eyes there, painted with a nice gray paint right there. And of course, right up top here, you got the word world right there with the black background. That looks very cool. And then right down here, you have the big banner that says heavyweight champion with the black background right there. And of course, on either side of the skull, you have the rattlesnake right there which is very cool and a lot of the detail is done in uh, with the black paint so it stands out very nicely and you have it on the other side as well right there um, of course the outer edge of the belt you can see as we have like barbed wire around it which is pretty cool I really dig that it makes sense on this belt. For some reason, the women's championship belt had the barbed wire around it. It honestly made no sense to me whatsoever. But on this belt, totally makes sense. Um, but very cool. Very nicely done. Um, the etching on this is not very deep. Uh, this is a, a two-millimeter plate 
not a four millimeter plate. The etching is not very deep at all. It is very shallow. You can see it, this, you know, if, if you run your finger across it, like there's barely any difference. <laughs> it's very slight. The etching is extremely, extremely shallow. Um, but there you have the main center plate right there. Moving on to the side plates right here. You have the WWE logo done in red. You have the snake wrapped around the skull and going around the WWE logo itself right there. Again, you got the skull with the WWE logo etched into the forehead and you got the smoke coming out of the eyes. Very right, cool. And then you have the outer plate right here that has the WWE Attitude logo right there. And the etching behind it is kind of a uh, like a snakeskin etching. So you have that. And the strap is very basic, very plain. It's just the uh, stitching going around the edges here, but there's no tooling whatsoever. It's just a plain strap right there. And here you have the female snap box right here. And some of that stuff from the uh, that plastic kind of stayed behind. Oh my God, it just comes right off. But there you have the snap box with the uh, with the female snaps right there. And coming along to the other side, you just had the same plate there with the skull, WWE logo with the snake wrapped around it, WWE attitude, and here you have the male snap box right there. And then flip it around to the back, you can see the nice snake skin back, which I think is really, really cool. You know, since he is the Texas rattlesnake, so it totally makes sense. Very cool. Of course, you can see all the bolts in there and everything, all the screws holding the plates in place. And right in the center, you have official WWE Authentic Replica Championship title made in China, WWEShop.com. When is this? 2013. And, of course, you have your... Nice shiny WWE Authentic sticker right there. So, there you have that. So now we will get down uh, to the measurements here. Now the strap length from end to end is uh, 51 and a quarter inches. This will fit up to a 48 inch waist. Um, the strap height from the top point here to the bottom point here, the strap is uh, almost 10 inches tall. Uh, the main plate, the height of the main plate from this point to this point right here is nine and a quarter inches. Uh, the width is 11 and a half inches. Um, now the innermost side plate, uh, the height is uh, four and a half inches from top to bottom. The width at uh, the, the highest point right here, because it actually, it actually does vary in width. This, uh, the high point right here, the width is uh, two and a half inches, and the width at this point right here is three inches. Um, and the outermost plate, uh, the height is four inches from top to bottom. Uh, the width at this upper point right here is two and a quarter inches, and at the lower point right here at the widest point, it is two and three quarter inches. So... There are all your measurements right there. So now without further ado, we're going to cut here and we will show off how this looks over the shoulder around the waist. So let's get right down to it. All right, so here we are back under the lights. So let's keep right on going. Now the strap, uh, flexibility wise, you can see uh, it's not really all that flexible. I just kind of... <laughs> Just kind of bows there, so not the most flexible strap. Um, the plate itself, I forgot to mention, the plate has no curve to it. As you can see, it is totally flat. Totally flat plate. Um, you can curve this yourself. It is a 2mm plate, so it shouldn't be hard to curve. Basically, just kind of bend it at, you know, pretty much at either side of the skull. Just take it and just kind of bend it over your knee or bend it over something if you want to get a nice curve to it. Pretty easy to do. So... There you have that. Um, over the shoulder, you can see um, that really doesn't really hang that well. It's kind of just, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the way you would like it to hang, and that's the way it actually hangs. So, you know, not really that good flexibility-wise. So, let's just get it around the waist here. Now, as usual, to run off my stats, 5'10", 150 pounds. By no means a heavy weight, but it'll still fit my itty bitty waist. Get this thing turned around here. Whoop! And I popped the snaps as I did it. 
apparently I need to fasten more than just the two snaps. So I will fasten more than just the two snaps. There we go. We'll do. We'll do four since that's all I have room to do. So let's get this thing turned back around. There we go. And there you have the smoking skull belt around the waist. And I'll give you the turnaround here. So you can see how it looks. Right there. And there you go. So yeah. Um, there you have the, uh, the smoking skull belt. Like I said, um, definitely one of my favorite belts. You know, mainly just because I'm a big Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. Um, really dig the belt. Very cool. Um, I picked this up from Ringside Collectibles. You can also pick these up from Wrestling Superstore. You can also pick these up directly from ShopWWE.com. So there you go. You can check out my WWE playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Link in the description down below. And uh, I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the WWE Smoking Skull Championship title replica. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. And that's the bottom line. Because M Go said so. Now get over here because I got a palm in your face.